All right, two worlds collide. Gaming fans will love the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra's special performance tonight. It's a tribute to the legend of Zelda. Remember that? <laughs> Part of the RPO's Month of Fantasy. Joining us now, we have Amy Anderson. She's the music director and conductor of the Zelda World Tour. We're also joined by Shannon Simmons. Did I say that correctly? Simons. Simons. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. From the Strong's International Center for the History of Electronic Games and RIT Interactive Games and Media Professor Al Biles. Welcome to all of you. Thanks Thank very you. Much. Thank you so much. Well, first, let's start with how did we pair RPO and Zelda? <laughs> the two different worlds. Mm -hmm. Who wants to take that? Well, this is the... Uh, third concert that we've actually had with um, video games and yeah. the RPO. We started three years ago with Video Games Live, and last year we did Distant World, music from Final Fantasy, and now we're up to Zelda. Wow. Uh, Amy, for you, <laughs> as the conductor, is this a little out of your wheelhouse, or you say we can make this work and, and, and uh, fans are going to be in for a treat? Well, fans are definitely in for a treat. I've been touring with this show for almost two years. It will be in January, and so we've done so many concerts and it's it's just it's a part of my life now so of, of course we're going to make it work and it's a fabulous orchestra Rochester Philharmonic is of course very well known yeah and it's just a delight to be here what can uh, people expect will they notice or hear any of the familiar music from the game <laughs> yes they will hear their favorite themes uh, song of healing um, they'll see beautiful graphics very beautiful visuals and get a chance to really hear a full symphony orchestra play the music that they love. Wow. Al, as a professor of interactive games and media, <laughs> what yeah. is this like to see these two worlds come together? Well, it's fascinating to take uh, music that uh, for a lot of media is incidental music yeah. that's kind of in the background, bring it up to the foreground. And we're looking right. at some of the graphics. Okay, it was yeah. Nintendo, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you ever play? Uh, no. I, actually, I'm not much of a player. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I play jazz more than, than, okay. than, than I play games. But, yeah. uh, but anyway, but the, but the music is... Uh, uh, iconic in any kind of uh, mixed media piece. Uh, certainly we, we talk about film scores and things like that. In games I think it's more interesting because games are not linear so the music yeah. has to be agile and uh, the fact that these tunes survive from chip tune uh, technology from 30 years ago and now we hear full orchestras with mass chorus and yeah. <laughs> uh, just astounding arrangements. It's really a lot of fun. Oh, I bet that's going to be great yeah. to hear. Um, uh, Shannon, uh, why is it so important that we recognize the history? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's something to be thinking about Nintendo, where, you know, is ancient now or something older, <laughs> but to remember Zelda, um, you know, for what it's worth. Zelda is one of the most iconic franchises I think ever created and certainly one of the most iconic for Nintendo. Nintendo, probably just behind Mario, yeah. and for some people even ahead. And um, the uh, Legend of Zelda: The Ocarina of Time is often considered the best video game ever created yeah. for any platform. And as we've said, the music is just so iconic and so beautiful. It it just makes perfect sense. Um, we're the home of the World Video Game Hall of Fame, yeah. and Zelda was a perfect. Uh, there was no question that Zelda was going to, to get in early. So you're, you're tackling Zelda now. What will you tackle next at the RPO? Ooh, well. Not guess, sure. Can you top <laughs> this? Can, can you top this? <laughs> no, no, it would be top. Now, I know, Al, you never played the game, but have you played the game? Yes, uh, I have. I, I recently finished Skyward Sword, which was absolutely amazing. Mm. And I got to demo um, Breath of the Wild at E3 back in the summer, um, which was I mean, I broke out in tears. I couldn't wow. believe how beautiful the music was, how detailed and spectacular the visuals were. I mean, it's, it's, it goes far beyond what anyone's ever created, wow. really. I think this is, it raised the bar so high, I was stunned. Man, you're really <laughs> selling it. <laughs> uh, are there still tickets available for the performance tonight? I believe there are. Okay. So everyone definitely want to check that out. You're taking us way back to Zelda, way back in time, make me want to get out the, the Nintendo and play, maybe for people at home too. Uh, we'll put all the information about the concert, where you can go to get tickets, and much more information on foxrochester.com. Have a great show tonight. Thank will you. Will you guys Thank be you. there? Yes. Yes, we'll be, Amy obviously will be conducting. Well, she has and to be then, there. <laughs> um, I will be uh, moderating a talkback panel after the concert, be joined by Al and Amy, as well as a student from RIT who has done audio. Fascinating. I can't wait to see what the RPO comes up with the next. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. show. Thank, Thank you, you so much.